Once again, you are welcome to Angel Health Academy. Subject, Community Health Nursing, Mnemonics. Topic for the day is National Population Policy. National Population Policy. The session includes National Population Policy, Beginning of National Population Policy, National Population Policy 2000, Its Objectives, Goals, Emphasis, and Anticipated Impacts. India launched its first program to emphasize the need for family planning in 1952 and India became the first country in the world to do so. So India launched its first program to emphasize the need for family planning in 1952. Population policy in general refers to policies which is intended to decrease the birth rate and growth rate thus to control the population. So, population policy intended to decrease the birth rate and growth rate, thus to control the population. So, it's for the control of the population in the nation. Beginning of National Population Policy The first National Population Policy announced in April 1976. The first National Population Policy launched in April 1976. In 1977, this policy was modified or revised. Where Family planning program replaced into family welfare program. So family planning program were replaced to into family welfare program. In 1983, national population policy accepted by the parliament. The submission of fresh draft of national population policy were given on 19th November 1999. The government of India announced the second national population policy that is the latest national policy on February 15, 2000. Let us discuss about National Population Policy 2000. The new National Population Policy, that is the second National Population Policy, the latest one, was announced by Government of India on 15th February 2000 under the chairmanship of then Honorable Prime Minister Adil Bihari Vajpayee, the former Honorable Prime Minister Adil Bihari Vajpayee. The Objectives of National Population Policy 2000 There are three main objectives. First is immediate or short term objectives. Second, medium term objectives and third, long term objectives. Let us discuss in detail immediate or short term, medium term and long term objectives of National Population Policy 2000. Immediate or short term objectives of National Population Policy 2000. To address the unmet needs for contraception, health care infrastructure and health personnel. To meet the unmet needs of contraception, then health care infrastructure or health agencies to render their services and health personnel or health workers. The second objective is to provide integrated service delivery for the basic reproductive and child health care. So integrate the service with the RCH service. Medium term objectives. To bring the TFR that is total fertility rate to the replacement level that is from 3.1 to 2.1 by 2010 through various implementation of intersectoral operational strategies or intersectoral coordination. So to bring the TFR total fertility rate to the replacement level by 2010 that was 3.1 to 2.1. The long term objective includes to achieve a stable population by 2045 to achieve a stable population in India by 2045 and second is to achieve requirement of suitable economic growth, social development and environmental protection of the country to achieve the requirements of suitable economic growth, social development and environmental protection. Next is the goals of national population policy 2000. National socio-demographic goals or goals of national population policy 2000 I have classified for the study purpose into three areas mothers three goals for the children three goals and for the family welfare eight goals so there are 14 goals of national socio demographic goals or goals of national population policy 2000 out of that three is directly related to mothers and three directly related to children and the remaining eight goals were directly related to the family welfare so the mnemonic I have made the same terminology I have used in relation with the 14 goals that is universal access of information and universal immunization at school decreased the communicable diseases, AIDS, infant mortality rate and maternal mortality rate and through people centered approach or program the unmet needs of small family such as the marriageable age for the girls, institutional delivery 
and registration of vital events are achieved in India. Let us expand in detail the mnemonic. Universal access of information stands for universal access of information and services for fertility regulation and contraception. Universal immunization stands universal immunization of children. School stands for school education. Communicable diseases stands for prevention and control of communicable diseases. AIDS stands for contain the spread of AIDS or decrease the spread of AIDS. IMR stands for infant mortality rate below 30 per thousand libus. MMR stands for maternal mortality rate to below 100 per 1 lakh libus. People centered program stands for make family welfare program as people centered program. Unmet needs stands for address the unmet needs for RCH services. Small family stands for promotion of small family norm. Marriageable age stands for promote marriageable age for girls. Institutional delivery stands for achieve 80 percentage of institutional deliveries and under percentage by trained persons. Registration of vital events stands for achieve under percentage registration of vital events. In India stands for integrate Indian system of medicines or indigenous system of medicines or Ayush. Let us explain in detail the goals. The first goal is achieve universal access of information or counseling and the service for fertility regulation and contraception with a wide basket of choice. Achieve universal access of information or counseling and the services for fertility regulation and contraception with a wide basket of choice. The second goal is achieve universal immunization of children against all vaccine preventable diseases against seven killer diseases. Achieve universal immunization of children against all vaccine preventable diseases. The third goal is make school education up to the age of 14 that is up to 10th standard free and compulsory and reduce the dropouts at both primary and secondary school levels to below 20 percentage for both boys and girls. The third objective is make school education up to the age of 14 year that is up to 10th standard as free and compulsory and reduce the dropouts at primary and secondary school level to below 20 percentage by 2010 for both boys and girls. The fourth goal is prevention and control of communicable diseases. Fifth goal is contain the spread of AIDS and promote greater integration between the management of reproductive tract infections that is RTI and STI and National AIDS Control Organization NACO. Contain the spread of AIDS and promote the greater integration between the management of RTI, STI and National AIDS Control Organization. The sixth goal is reduce infant mortality rate to below 30 per thousand libus. That is from 58 per thousand libus. So to reduce IMR to below 30 per thousand libus by 2010. Then seventh goal is decrease maternal mortality rate to below 100 per 1 lakh libus by 2010. The eighth goal is make family welfare program as people centered program or people centered approach. And the goal is address the unmet needs for basic health services, supplies and infrastructure. Address the unmet needs or meet the unmet needs for basic RCH services, supplies and the infrastructure for RCH services. The tenth goal is Promote vigorously the small family norms to achieve the replacement levels of TFR, that is 2.1. The 11th goal is promote marriageable age for girls, not earlier than age 18 and preferably after 20 years of age. The expert says that if the marriageable age for girls extend, there would be 20 to 30 percentage of reduction in infant mortality rate. So promote the marriageable age for girls not earlier than 18 and preferably after 20 years of age. Then 12th goal is achieve 80 percentage of institutional deliveries. Achieve 80 percentage of all the deliveries as institutional deliveries and 100 percentage deliveries by the trained persons or trained staff. Achieve at least 80 percentage institutional deliveries and 100 percentage deliveries are conducted by trained staff or trained persons. The 13th goal is achieve under percentage registration of vital events such as births, deaths, marriage and pregnancy. 
achieve under percentage registration of vital events such as births, deaths, marriage and pregnancy. Fourteenth goal is integrate Indian system of medicines or indigenous system of medicines in the provision of RCH services and in reaching out to the households or doorsteps. So integrate the indigenous system of medicine or Ayush in the provision of RCH services. These are the 14 goals of National Population Policy 2000. The emphasis of National Population Policy. First is people-centered approach or people-centered program. Second is decentralized planning and implementation through Panjaits and Nagarpalikas. Integrated package for health, MCH and family planning services. Integrated package for health services, MCH services and family planning services. The fourth emphasis is informed choice of contraception. Informed choice of contraceptives. Concern for gender issues. Concern for gender equities or gender issues. Focus on underserved rural population or underserved population groups and adolescents. Community participation with increased participation of the men in planned family and parenthood. So these are the seven emphasis in National Population Policy 2000. Let us explain once again. So there are seven emphasis of National Population Policy 2000. First one is the approach of National Population Policy 2000 is people-centered approach or people-centered program. Then second emphasis is decentralized planning and implementation. Third is integrated package of health services, MCH services and family planning. Then informed choice of contraception. Then concern about gender issues or focus on gender issues and concern about underserved rural population and adolescents or focus on underserved rural population and adolescents. And last one is community participation that is involvement of men in family planning and parenthood. So these are the seven emphases of National Population Policy 2000. The next is anticipated impacts of population policy 2000 by 2010. So anticipated impacts to 2010. The population must be 1,107 million by 2010. Crude birth rate that is CDR 21 per thousand population by 2010. Infant mortality rate that is 30 per thousand live births by 2010 and total fertility rate to the replacement level that is 2.1 by 2010. So and anticipated impacts of uh, national policy 2000 is as population 1107 million by 2010, crude birth rate 21 per thousand population by 2010, infant mortality rate 30 per thousand live births by 2010 and total fertility rate to the replacement level that is 2.1 by 2010. So summary of the topic, today we have discussed about national population policy. So we discussed what is population policy and national population policy, beginning of national population policy, national population policy 2000, its objectives, goals, emphasis and the anticipated impacts. So thanks for watching. Hope this video really benefits in your studies. If you feel it is worth and benefit, please like, share and subscribe. Stay tuned with Angel Health Academy for another important educational video. Thank you.